So just today, Valof added a new map, Cold Seed, into Quarantine on Combat Arms Classics in 2021. Which I think caught everybody by surprise, unless if you're one of Valof's loyal subscribers and saw this atrocity. <laughs> I don't really understand who Valof thinks their audience is. Like, do they think someone is losing their shit saying new update and big flashy text with loud electronic music in the background? But anyways, I played a couple of games and I think they did a pretty good job with the map. I know, for once, I'm not hating on Valof, but I think it's pretty cool that they're showing a sliver of care for their game. Still not enough care, but hey, it's new content from Combat Arms in 2021. So you probably noticed they actually went ahead and changed a few things in the map, because as you know, some maps change based on the game mode. And they went with the Christmas theme, which is a bit odd in the middle of the summer, but I understand that in some other countries, it's that time of the year. So yeah, from what I can tell, all they did was add a couple of snowmen laying around in the map, but more importantly, they added this. I say this with no joke, this is probably the best thing Valof has added to the game since they took over Combat Arms in 2017. Anyways, back to the map. Like with any new maps, I think runners are having a field day of finding running spots or nading spots so they can try to get better at the map. Which is refreshing to see because I haven't seen people trying to gain map knowledge in ages within this game, so... It was cool to see. And I was finding myself doing the same thing, trying to look for new spots to run around in, which I haven't done in forever. And it reminded me of the old days of why I partly fell in love with this game mode so much. Spending time with friends and the community to try and find new tricks to navigate around the map faster, or finding new nade tricks, and then share it to each other to even get better at the game. It's all part of why I liked this game. So I do encourage quarantine players to try out new maps other than Overdose. I'd suggest doing five rounds rather than nine, just because some maps like Neptune feels like an eternity. But Cold Seed is a pretty small map. If I had to compare the map to an already existing map, I'd probably compare it to Junk Flea or Showdown. And the rounds go by pretty fast, so I was having fun with the map. It didn't feel like a drag playing it, and I think it's a pretty good addition to the core map list. But like learning any new maps on Common Arms, it feels scuffed as hell at first. Mostly because you'll get stuck on many objects and even lag back a few times, but that's when having map knowledge will help you avoid those things from happening. When you fail enough times or notice where you can and can't jump to, you start becoming a bit smooth they're at navigating through the map. And even just a couple of games on Cold Seed, I was finding myself already somewhat gliding around the map as I was picking up a few new tricks here and there. I even saw a couple of people fragging out already, so you'll probably see at least one montage coming up on YouTube soon. But overall, it's a pretty decent map. And seeing that Valof added a new map to Quarantine, maybe we'll get another map soon? Uh, or maybe they'll take another couple of years, who knows? But I'm still surprised Valof is adding new free content to the game. Seeing that any new content Valof has been adding have only consumed consisted of overpriced skins or overpowered weapons, which you can't even look at before you buy it. Anyways, in conclusion, Valof is a wild card. I had fun on this map, and this tune's a banger. Make sure to leave a like, you guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.